Hey, what's up guys? Tactical Pickle here, and today we're going to be taking a look at April's Uber Crate. Before I dive into the meat and potatoes of the video, I wanted to talk to you guys about doing a subscriber giveaway. The goal I want to reach is 100 subscribers, which is, I think, a great milestone. One huge benefit to this is that at 100 subscribers, you unlock the ability to have a custom YouTube link. Now, going off YouTube analytics, roughly about 70 to 75% of my views come from people who are not subscribed. Now, I really enjoy making these videos, so I'm hoping that this giveaway will give you guys a reason to subscribe and help me grow as a channel. Now, onto the idea for the giveaway. Currently, I plan to keep on subscribing to Uber Crate as well as Humble Bundle Monthly. With both of these subscriptions, I'll keep any duplicate keys I receive and use them as part of the giveaway. Also, as a top prize, I'll be giving one winner a code for a six month subscription to Uber Crate. Now, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of this idea. So let's dive into April's Uber Crate. I'm going to start off with a little bit of a rant. Uber Crate's website states that they deliver games to your email on the 16th of the month. Well, the 16th of April happened to fall on a holiday. I feel as a form of common courtesy or customer service, you should post on your site that games will go out on a different date if the 16th lands on a holiday. This was not the case with Uber Crate. So when the 16th came and went and I didn't receive my games, I tried to contact them asking where my games were and didn't receive a message for over six hours till I was told that they were going to go out on the 18th. This is the second time out of three crates that I received them late. Now that that's out of the way, let's get on to the games. April's Uber Crate is by far the worst one I have received so far. Out of the 10 games I received, five of them were duplicates. Out of those five games, one of them I received as a duplicate last month. The saddest part though is it's the worst game out of every one that I've received and I've gotten it three times. So let's dive in and check out the five new games and see how those ones stack up. The first game on the list is Squeezone. This one is your basic tower defense game where you just defend your tower against waves and waves of enemies. It's a little different in that you can control your character and have them run around and shoot as well. Alongside putting up tower defense items, you can place down weapon vendors to buy upgraded weapons for your character. The art was nice as it was very reminiscent of older Super Nintendo games, but however, everything else just felt like crap. The aiming was so stupid as your mouse cursor is the crosshairs, so you're expecting to be able to shoot wherever you're pointing at. However, your character can only shoot in 45 degree increments, which is a joke. I think the best thing they should do is just remove the crosshair altogether and give it kind of a laser pointing out in which direction that you're aiming and be done with it. Game number two is Darkonica the Cube of Soul. However, this is not a game. This was complete trash to be honest. Basically, it's just dialogue after dialogue, which I didn't read because it was poorly translated from I'm assuming Russian, and the only interaction you get is random choices which are clearly there to lead you to an awful sex scene. This felt like a lonely kid's wet dream brought to life that he was selling, and I was unfortunate enough to get a copy. To put it into a little bit of context, I spam clicked through the dialogue to skip it as fast as possible, and there was only four or five times where I could actually interact with the game before it finished. The total time looked took less than five minutes, and on top of all that, they're actually charging $3.99 for this turd. Next on this list was supposed to be Midsummer Night, however, as soon as I booted up the game, my antivirus popped up saying that it was ransomware and deleted it. Now, I don't know about you, but regardless of if it was a false positive or not, I'm not going to risk my system over a crappy game I'll never play. Also, they are charging $4.99 for it on Steam. Like, really? On we go. Number four is Iron Impact. This is a pretty cool arcade style top-down tank shooter. This game feels very well made and was pretty fun. The game does very well at playing off nostalgia, bringing back memories of old top-down shooter games. It doesn't do anything to improve on those games, but it does a great job of giving the same fun gameplay. Even their Steam page says, Iron Impact is a tank TDS similar to many of the NES games we loved so much when we were kids as Battle City or Jackal. You can definitely feel that they put the effort into making this game feel like a great shooter and not just a game cashing in on nostalgia. 
Last up, we have Minimized. This game is a basic FPS harkening back to the days when Doom and Wolfenstein were big hits. I guess the big selling point for this game is the beauty of minimalistic graphics. However, I feel that it's this game's biggest fault. Because of the graphics, it's really hard to see where you need or can go in the environment as it is mostly black with various colors outlining objects. Honestly, I feel like this flops hard because it takes away one aspect they really could have excelled on, instead it relies on outdated gameplay that doesn't hold up with this art style. Doom and Wolfenstein were great games then and now because they helped create and define a new genre. This game just feels like a game trying to cash in on your nostalgia, especially since it's priced at $3.99. Now on to the duplicates. This month I received 5 duplicate games which is outrageous. 50% of this crate I already received from my last crates, and one of those games I received in every crate so far, and it is by far the worst game I've received, and that was Abandoned Night. The 5 duplicate games I received were Space Incident, Lost in the Woods 2, Inverted, Soulless, Ray of Hope, and yes, Abandoned Night. Now to the overall review of this crate. Honestly, this crate has been the biggest pile of crap out of all three that I've received. Five duplicates, with one of them being a game that I've already received twice. There's no value in that at all. I had a suspicion as to why all these games have been crap out of every crate, and after doing these videos I noticed most of these games share a common publisher. I've received three games from Siberian Digital, three games from Eclipse Games, and seven games from Dagestan Technology. Uber Crates so far to me feels like a huge scam. They clearly purchase bolt keys from indie developers and resell them way overpriced. They get away with it because you pay for the subscription. It's all random on what games you receive, so you're basically gambling with all these shit games being selected from such a deep pool and who knows if they even have keys for well-known games or if it's all just clever as advertising on their site to fool people into subscribing. If you spend any time on their website, you will notice a little notification pops up saying someone has subscribed to Ubercrate. Honestly, I think that is just BS and is there just to give you a push to subscribe like, hey look, another person sub subscribed to our awesome service. As a passionate gamer and a new content creator, I had high hopes for a subscription service like this, but so far it has been nothing but trash and it is a huge insult to anyone who sadly has paid full price for this subscription. It's clearly a huge money making scam trying to cash in on such a passionate community which are gamers. They have already rebranded once and I'm sure they'll do it again as they try to scrub off all the negative reviews of this service. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'm sorry this video got a little bit on the ranting side but it's just tough with this subscription service. I mean I'm a huge gamer and it's just appalling at what this company's doing while passing it off as something it's not. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful as I really enjoy making content for you guys. Don't forget to hit that like button as it really helps me out and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already so we can help my channel grow and we can get close to that magic 100 subs goal where I can finally start doing some giveaways. You guys can follow me on Twitter at Tactical Pickle and be sure to leave a comment down below if you have any feedback on the video, subscription service, anything. You know, it's always helpful. I'm still learning on all this stuff and, you know, interacting with you guys has been great. So far, you guys, you guys have been awesome and I really appreciate it. You know, as always, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you at the next video.